So my wife came in and said, did I want to play around with the new box that came in? And I said to her, yeah, why not? Let's see what's in there. And she unpacked it, which you know, everyone doesn't unpack, but it has three Nest Protects in it. And we're going to install them today. So what's in the box, guys, is what I'm going to say from now on, if I'll get a box, because that's what I asked her first. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box today to Google Nest? Only on DIY with Chucks. It's bigger than I thought. So my wife's just got that out and there's the backing for it and there's a cable for it. So you need to connect the cable up to your system and I've got to check it but I think it goes through your lighting system, I'm not sure yet, but we will be checking that out. So there's a the plug, there's the base. The plug must go through the middle. Of course, there's some information do, 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 on the Nest app and the cable. And there's where it plugs in. It's a very simple system. And it has, why, why, why Google? Are you using the old version of the power, powering device? I don't get it. Why would you use that? Anyway, we'll pl plug it in. All good. say in all my videos if you're not a qualified electrician and you've got no idea what this is doing don't attempt it do not attempt it that is a warning do not attempt to do this if you're not a qualified electrician other than that let's get on with it okay so I've removed two screws one there which is part of the batten I'd say I've been putting a batten under there and another one there which I've just pulled out and as I've pulled it out, to get this off, there's a latching system and it has this main body area where it'll normally slide across, slide out, or it'll just clip out. This one clips out, others can slide out. So you're going to have to work that out on your own basis. Now there's two wires coming down out of the roof. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to turn off all the power to this circuit. Okay, I'm putting my multimeter on AC. I check the two wires without touching the probe ends. And I'm going to check the front. There it is no AC power and there's no DC power because I checked that before and that was off the light circuit but that doesn't mean that it could be hooked up incorrectly so you've got to check it yourself if you're an electrician and first very screwed in I shouldn't have too much normally I just cut them make it quicker the two wires are out and that's still usable so I'll probably end up getting rid of that later if someone needs it. Quickest way to do this repair is a couple of different ways. 
you solder them together, which you're not going to do anyway in this case. Just a couple of these will do the job. So you've got a double, which is for earths, and then you've got two singles, which I'll use to use the two singles, and I will put a little bit of electrical tape around them, and Bob's your uncle, and in my case, Bob was my dad. So, first thing I'm going to do though, before I hook, oh, I hook this up first, and I'll hook the base plate onto here, So you've got blue and brown. Brown is your red in this case. Uh, hook those two together into there. Well, it needs to be undone a bit. Okay. You really want to make sure that's not going to go anywhere. Just put that around there like that. Okay. Any ass? Wish me it's up here. That's hooked in. Get the other one. Loosen it off a bit so you can get the two wires in. They're not much, not very big wires. Double check by pulling on the wires, make sure they're nice and tight. You don't want them to fall out and cause a fire of some description. tape it up. So I've used black, black tape to tape it all up and secure it to the main wire so that it doesn't be pulled or anything. If a road gets in the roof it won't be pulled to start a fire. Okay you've got this underneath. There's an installment date which you need to put on it in this place it actually has a replacement so installment date we'll put in location and then you got a switch here which shows you the batteries so you've got a triple a batteries in it it's all it has three three double a's let's have a look have a look at that once you pull that out it turns on the first thing we're going to do, we're going to pull that out and because I didn't have a lid down, it went freaking everywhere. Okay. Hi, ready. Press to test. Follow the blue light. Ready. Press to test. This is only a test. The alarm will sound. It's going to be loud. The test starts in five seconds. Press to cancel. Testing smoke. Testing carbon monoxide.
The test is finished. Everything looks fine. With it like that. But the code is actually on the back of a device, which I can't understand why they didn't put it on a piece of cardboard in the box to save a bit of work for people. Anyway, let's keep working on it. Okay, so we're going to set up the Google Nest smoke detectors. So in order to do that, you have to download the app from the Google Play Store or the App Store on Apple. It'll ask you if you've got a Nest account. I didn't have a Nest account, so I used my Google, uh, my Google email address that I use for all the other home automation things. And then I set it all up on my phone and this is what it looks like. It's now asking me to add the product. Unfortunately, to get the product set up, you need to have the smoke detector down and you need to be able to scan that tiny little QR code. So you go to add product and then you scan the code. Oh, nice little scan job there. We go to allow. We also now need a Wi-Fi password. It says, where are you going to put your Google Nest? We're going to put it in the hallway, I believe needs to be plugged in now so we just need to put it straight back up and plugged in you can also set a preferred time for the nest to check its wi-fi connection and its sensors so i don't know about you but i don't want to have it checking at 7 a.m even though i'm always awake so i reckon maybe nine sounds about like a good time Maybe midday to four sounds like a good time. Now it says we're going to install Nest Protect. Yeah. We'll go to next. And now it says run a safety check. Set up complete. We're trying to set up the nest on the wi-fi setting up the nest network how exciting the biggest reason i want these is because i sleep with headphones on and i'm always terrified that we're going to have a fire one night and i'm not going to hear it because i'm too busy listening to youtube so at least this way Hopefully, Connected. in theory, Google's going to tell me if we've got a file. Now I can go along and add another nest, which I'll do later, but hopefully this has been helpful.